means everything to my dog and I. I think it's exactly that, community. This is nice that it's open and it's not a tape. The dog park really delivers something for over 50% of the community that they can enjoy. And even if you don't have a dog, you can come down and enjoy the atmosphere and other people's dogs. The residents love it, and also non-residents love it. People have come from as far away as Santa Clarita to spend some time here in West Hollywood and uh, be in the center of the center of it. 14, 15 years ago when Foreverlon started, Turf was more of a one-size-fits-all proposition. What Foreverlon has done that's different than most companies, we have specific brands designed for specific uses. Our canine grass allows us to pick any surface and transform it into an area that is designed just for whatever number of pets that you have. We can transform a concrete jungle into an area that dogs can play on that's soft and is odor free and is green all year around. This park is part of a larger park master plan and we have these two amazing dog parks. We all couldn't be happier. This is so much about understanding West Hollywood and West Hollywood residents. The addition of this park is a great impact on the community. A lot of uh, people in this area, they don't have big yards. This park is walking distance. I made a lot of new friends here. Ed has made new friends. My neighbors and I came over here, we're hanging out, playing with our dogs, drinking coffee and talking. I've been here since opening day and it's great. The grass is nice and clean. It's easy on our little feet, which I'm very happy about. But I like it here because it's grass-esque and it's cleaner. Yeah, she starts pulling when to get over here, huh? <laughs> Canine grass, it's a lot different than any other application out there. It's soft for the dog's paws, it's great for them to run on, and it's beautiful for the pet owners as well. It just promotes like a lively, like natural, fresh kind of feeling as opposed to just dirt clouds everywhere. It just becomes more peaceful, I think. All of the parks in LA are either dirt or tan bark. My dog runs around a lot and she gets extremely muddy, so we just haven't been going to dog parks. And this is really clean and really beautiful and all the owners are so nice and all the dogs have been so nice. It's a real general excitement. I've been doing this for 12 years, and during that time, we've successfully installed over 7 million square feet of canine grass. Average pet-friendly turf. Those are the only points that the urine has to get out. Canine grass, you can see literally anywhere. The backing is quite different. It's a knitted product. That's by design, so you get edge-to-edge -edge drainage. Another very important component is no infill. Infill is sand, rubber, volcanic ash put on the surface, slows drainage, harbors waste, and makes it impossible to keep clean. Like a litter box, you cannot change. It's great to see a place that has turf. We're kind of like, where can we go? Like, there has to be some place, and actually, here it is. We have a fantastic solution, but we're always innovating, always improving, and there's even greater things to come.